then we have a pre-silicon validation intent so here you again need to know digital electronic computer architecture arm processor architecture instruction set architecture and micro architecture you also need to understand Verilog for building and hardware C for writing a software interface and bus protocol understanding of JTAG for debugging hardware and software debugging technique of an arm the logic analyzer and good understanding of arm SOC. you also need to know one of a scripting language either from TCL Perl or Python and fundamental understanding of Linux then we have post silicon validation intent this also require understanding of same subject that we have in a pre silicon validation intent so we have digital electronic computer architecture good understanding of arm processor architecture instruction set architecture micro architecture the skills also remain same very log c interface and bus protocol gtag debugging logic analyzer and arm soc and scripting and shell language these are uh, the series of position that you'll be frequently finding in front end so this include hardware design intent hardware verification intent then we have an soc design intent soc verification intent pre-silicon validation intent and post-silicon validation intent so if you compare the number of positions that you'll be finding for different intern so you have more number of opportunities for verification and design intent then we have an soc position uh, next to verification and design intent so soc include both verification as well as design and bit less number of position compared to soc for pre-silicon and post-silicon so you need to plan accordingly but remember follow your interest do not choose specific domain based on the number of position